In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. In order to more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us fall to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, Grant give her intercession, that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's reading is from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church of Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this. I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accepted and heard. Keep it and repent. 
If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white, because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea said, write this, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this, I know your works, I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. And yet you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments to put on, so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed, and my ointment to smear on your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him, and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm response, I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised while he honors those who fear the Lord. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in strength and stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.
very powerful images in the readings today. There's multiple homilies you could preach on the different uh, aspects in Revelation. But I think there's a theme that ties everything together. It's this idea of the Lord coming to reside in the house. We hear in Revelation, Lo, I stand at the door and knock, and he who welcomes me in, I will go and sit and dine with him. We see our Lord invite himself into Zacchaeus' life. Now, Zacchaeus indeed cheated people. He was not, not an honest tax collector. But he has a moment of conversion. We see him make the bold pledge that half of what he has to give to the poor, and he'll repay four times anyone he's extorted. That was an encounter of salvation. Jesus invited Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus responded. The Lord then goes to his house, and he does all this, as he said in the last line, because the Son of Man came to seek and save what was lost. The Lord stands knocking at the doors of our hearts, wanting us to invite him in. Not to invite him in only to the parts of our life where we're comfortable having him present, but to invite him into every aspect of our life, even the ones that maybe we're not the proudest of, the areas that we truly need conversion of heart. So the Lord stands and knocks today. Will we answer and let him in? I pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands with the praise and glory of the Lord. For our good and good of the Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we, to celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity, made by the example of blessed Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right with us. us. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without us we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of the
are indeed holy, O Lord, for the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim the name of the Lord, and the resurrection, so you can Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit your co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, be gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now forever.
act of spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I'm not able at this moment to receive you sacramentally, I ask that you spiritually enter into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant the Lord that we, who are renewed by these sacred mysteries, may follow the example of blessed Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, who honored you with tireless devotion, and by surpassing charity was of service to your people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth the Mass as it. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. May God be with you in the holy prayer. And thou, our Prince of the Holy Ghost, by the power of God, and the Son of the Holy Spirit, and all the Holy Spirit's spirits, rock out the world and sink in the room of the soul. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us kneel as we gather together to honor our mother and our perpetual help. We recall how she helped others. Her whole life was a lesson in love. <coughs> mother of perpetual help, today we face so many difficulties. Your picture tells us so much about you. It reminds us to reach out and to help those in need. Help us understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us. Mary, model of Christian love. We know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem. But with God's grace, we intend to do what we can. May we be true witnesses to the world that love for one another really matters. May our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours, Mother of Perpetual Love. Mary, you are a woman of steadfast faith. Your faith in Jesus never wavered. Model of all believers, pray to the Holy Spirit for us. Help us not only to accept all your Son teaches us, but to put that teaching into practice. Mother, Mother perpetual, as a child, Jesus ran to you for comfort and reassurance. You did not see him as only a frail child. Moved by the Holy Spirit, you accepted Jesus as the Son of the Most High, the long awaited Messiah. Found me your example of faith. Help us recognize Jesus in those we meet especially the poor and the lonely, the 
was sick of the male belly. He was always mindful, dear mother, that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to your loving son. May his words live in our hearts and influence our lives and the lives of those we meet. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mary, Mary woman of faith, you ponder and treasure the meaning of God's words and actions in your body. You generously responded to his word in faith. As we listen to God's word, help us be attentive to his message. May the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put these words into practice. Let us stand as we present our petitions. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Mitchell, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick to regain their health according to your holy will. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Grant eternal rest to all of our deceased and to the souls of all the faithful departed. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Let us pause now to silently present our own personal petitions to our mother perpetual health. Let us kneel as we continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our lives. You always gave God the first place in your life. Just as you pondered his word in your heart, help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing him. Help us follow your example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills, when he wills it, as he wills it, because he wills it. Mother of Perpetual Help, your picture reminds us that we are to carry our cross as Jesus did. With courage, he endured injustice, abandonment and betrayal, pain and suffering, even a criminal death. Mary, we turn to you as our model of suffering and courage. You shared in your son's suffering and death. Now you share in his resurrection. We too share in the cross of Christ. And someday, like you, we will share fully in his resurrection. Help us be patient in our suffering and to trust in the loving care of our Father in heaven. May those suffering sickness in mind or body experience your son's healing power. Help us follow his example, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother, to perpetual home, bless our families with your tender, motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. Help all mothers and fathers love and cherish the children God has entrusted to them. May they always be models of a truly Christian life. Help all the children that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage and family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes havens of love and peace. Mary, our model, help every family grow daily in genuine love for God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity, her openness to the Holy Spirit, and say, Come, Holy Spirit, Spirit fill our hearts, hearts with your joy and your peace, with, with your, your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with you to strengthen you, above you to protect you, before you to lead you, behind you to encourage you, within you to possess you totally. Through the prayers of our holy patron, St. Alphonsus, through the intercession of our mother of perpetual help, 
through the merits of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Amen. Everyone have a wonderful day. You too, Father. Did you try contacting me yesterday?